Okay, this I think will work. Um, the last video showed how to create the Serenity Lander leg, and I'm just playing around with bones here. And uh, if I go into that again, you can see there's a problem with this. Um, I don't really have any mesh on here, but you can see the problem anyway, and that is that the bottom part of this foot is tilting too much, and you wouldn't probably want that to happen with a, a mechanism in real life. And even if you try using this controller down here, the same thing happens. The front tilts up here, and the bottom, or the back tilts down. And so I just want to show from beginning to end how to rig this thing so that, that doesn't happen. And uh, I know that the last two videos don't necessarily show enough detail anyway, so let's just do one from scratch right on the side here. So uh, I'll start off with uh, bones, and I'm just going to go click, left mouse button click again, right click to create the nub. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna click right here, otherwise it'll try to attach it to the end of this bone. So I'm gonna click a little bit off to the side and come over, click, click, and right click to create the nub. And that'll be another one of my bone linkages. And let's do uh the back toe or the back uh I can say um, appendage. And let's do the front. And I'm just lining these up because I probably want them to be one piece. And uh, I'll take this one and just copy it. So I'm going to do an edit clone. Whoops. Forgot one thing there. Let me do it again. Edit clone. And do you see how it was set to instance? I don't want it to be an instance. I want it to be a copy that stands on its own. So I'll say, okay, there. Now, um, let's go to the front view, for, or top view for just a second. This is the one I'm working on. So I'm going to take this and just rotate it 45 degrees out. Notice I got my snap turned on. And I'll take this one, rotate it 45 degrees out. And these need to be separated a little bit. So that, um, you see I've got my coordinates set to local. I'm going to set them to view for now because it will make it easier to move these around the way I want to. And what I'm doing is moving these bones around so that I can design my model around the bones. And normally you would put your bones inside of a model, inside of the mesh. But in this case I think it makes sense to work with the bones first and then build a model around the bones. Okay, so you can see I've got a couple of iterations here. So now, um, how close, the question is how close can these be to this? Because what I want it to do is to be a nice, tidy little package. You can see the last one I did, I needed all this mechanism, all this support base, just to be able to make these things fit in and turn right. But it's too massive. So, uh, I'll just show you that. See, so it's just too massive of a, massive of a uh, mesh. So what I'm going to do is try to pull these things closer and tighter together so it looks a little more streamlined and weight efficient. So this is back where we are. Um, let me just grab this one and move it a little closer. And you got to guess around a little bit. And you can always move these later until you finally attach them. Now on this particular video I'm going to jump ahead a little bit. I'm not going to try um, using this mesh or anything because I want to get to the point which is how to keep this foot from rotating like it does, right? So what I'm going to do is add another bone in here. So let's go bones and just stay right there. And I'm going to get rid of the nub. Don't need it. I'm going to bring this down. And uh, let's see how this works. So first thing is, um, let's move this over. Normally you spend a little more time lining these up. I'm going to do it in a bit of a hurry. I want a parent-child relationship between this is the child to this is the parent. So that's one. And um, I think I'm going to hold off on this parent-child relationship for these feet. 
for now. And uh, I'm also going to go right ahead now, something I normally don't do, and grab this upper leg bone and add an HI solver to it, to the nub. Okay, that gives me this little control object here, this IK. Now, now that I've got the IK, I'm going to move this bone over a little bit. It's still free to move. And I'm going to make it a child of this IK. Because you'll notice that when I move this IK, it doesn't rotate at all. And that's what gave me the idea to do this. So, we'll just go to the parent-child and make this the child of the IK as the parent. And now when we test it out, it follows it, but it doesn't rotate. Okay, so I think we're off to a good start. Now it's just a matter of testing out if uh, these bones here will stay in, in line. So what I'm going to do is just move these up to a better place so that they're lined up. I think I want them a little bit lower because what we really want, if you look back at this, is this thing to come into a little assembly that uh, is higher up than these are. Unless you want to try to raise these up around it, that's a possibility too. Just up to you how you want to build your mesh. And I'm not ready to do the mesh part yet, so this is just the bones. So I'll move these up a little bit. And it could help to have the grid on. And you may have to change your grid, and you probably can't see that on this video quality right now. But let me just find something that looks halfway decent before I continue. Okay, so now we need to create the relationship between these and this as the parent. So it'll be a parent-child, this will be the child, this will be the parent. And I'm going to change my view a little bit for this next one. This will be the child. This will be the parent. This will be the child. This will be the parent. Okay. And uh, before I do too much more, I'm going to select these one at a time, like this one. And go to Animation, HI Solver, and grab the bottom nub for each one of these. Select Animation, IK Solver, is HI Solver, bottom nub, and then the last one. Okay, so those are all done. Then, uh, something I mentioned earlier, and I think we're still going to want to do it. Now, before I, before I assume that, let's, let's go ahead and move this. It looks like everything's going to be okay. You can see that that foot isn't rotating, but the toes are doing some funny little dance. And you may even like that. I mean, it becomes a matter of personal preference at some point. Maybe you like how that acts. I mean, I, I don't really have too much of a problem with that. As long as you have your hinge in the right place, as long as you can put, if it's a claw, if, as long as you allow it to bend right there, that could actually work pretty nicely. Because the angles are pretty nice. But um, let's assume you don't want that. So what I'll do is get another view here. Alt, middle button, middle mouse button. And I'll grow, go to this uh, middle bone, we can call it, and then under my hierarchy panel, under IK, I can go to rotational joint and say that I want X, X axis unactive and uh, Z axis to be changed to limited and Y axis I think can stay the same, if I remember this right. Let's do the same thing here and here. And now let's test it out. Yeah, and that's the way I think I want mine to go. And it's going to save me a little bit of work, too. Coming down. And this can go down less. And if you want to, you can grab all these and put them with one controller and pull them up. And change that angle also. But you have the freedom to change that angle here. That's probably all you need is those two. Okay. Hopefully this made sense. And then you're ready to start building your mesh around it, and I'll do that in a separate video.